Welcome to Oliver Origami. Today I'm going to be demoing and a tutorial for some of my favorite flashers. This is a model I just designed. It doesn't look like a flasher Big Bang, really small. It's not. This is the almost flasher Big Bang. It's going to have a 20 by 20 grid and it flashes really well. Here it is, opened. Okay, now I'm going to be teaching you my flasher frisbee boomerang. It is an 8x8 grid. You're going to start by holding, folding in half. Like this. Right? It looks like this. Unfold. Then you're, you're going to fold. You're going to fold the, um, the edge to the middle. Like this, and then you're going to do that on the other side. And like this. And you're just going to fold the edge back to meet the, the end of the paper. Like this, and there should be a new crease like that. And you're just gonna flip it over and fold this, these edges to the middle. Like that. Do that on both sides. And you should have divided into eight. So now you're just gonna reverse those creases. By flipping it over and fold two up, one down. Two up, one down. Two up, one down. And uh, and then just just fold the blunt edge over. And you should have you should have divided it into eighths. Just fold it at the edge of the table. So it's flat. And look. Now you're just gonna do that on the other side. Oh, and by the way, uh, this design you do not, do not need to wet fold because, uh, oh, and one more thing, there's a little surprise action that this does at the end. I like to use printer paper cut square just, beca just because it's a bit thinner and it flashes easier. Make sure your creases are sh sharp, but not too sharp. And then you're just going to reverse the creases again. And I'll tell you what to do next. Okay, now you should have a little checkerboard thing. You see it? Now I'm I'm just gonna now I'm just gonna draw it on just so you can see it better. There should be a middle here these the, remember the first crease that we made, that middle crease right right here? You're gonna redo that. Now you should have this. But then when we just draw this on. We're gonna make, you see, um, you're gonna make this, you're gonna dent, right, o along to the point of where you crease. So you're just gonna open it up a bit, uh, and dent, just pinch, wait, and you're gonna turn, and you're gonna unfold. 
turn it over and fold right to here. Just crease the middle, the middle section. You're going to do that on all four sides. And there should be a diagonal square in the middle once you're done. Okay, now you're going to turn it back over and refold it. And you're just going to make a little dent going toward the creases that we just made. So that, so that it looks like um, this. So it looks like this. Then you're just going to squash it and fold and fold and, until it looks like something like this. And you're just going to fold this edge over here and this edge over here. Then you're just going to fold this open so that there, uh, there's a square right there. And you're going to do that on the other side. By the way, this is the first flasher I've ever made single-handedly. Now once you have this, you're just going to unfold the whole thing. And there should be a square right in the middle. Look, you see how it flashes? Now, have you ever heard of a, a squash fold? We're going to do that to make a box. Um, do you see these little, these little, this little thing right here, this little pleat? You're going to fold upward so that it meets the edge of the square like that. You're just gonna, then you're just going to squash this so, so that it's open, pretty sharply. And it should look like this. I'm going to do that on all four sides. these except for the squash fold should be on um reg regular creases and the good thing about the flasher is you don't you need to have any knowledge about flashers oh okay now you've got this once you've got this you see it still flashes but then you're going to flip it over there should be a weave right there then you're just going to fold up so that's an octagon. So that's an, an octagon with this little point, and this should be on the back. You're just going to do that on all four corners once more. Like this. And we're just going to fold these tabs over. And then tuck them into this little flap right here. Like that. Just do that on the other rest. Or you can just tuck it into, or to make it more secure, you can tuck it into this pocket here, but I'm not going to do that. Just a waste of time. Now you're done. And look, if you just. You just gotta make every crease very sharp. Then I'm just gonna hold it like this at a 45 degree angle, and it doesn't come back that easily. But it, you might, it will, it can just be a frisbee, but it still can be boring sometimes. Now here's how to, here's the special ability. If you untuck these flaps. So that's back to this shape. And if you open it up, leave the these um the squash folds on. It's a beanie. Look. You can wear it sometimes. Look, a little beanie. Okay. You can just close it up. Then it's an octagon frisbee again. Mm -hmm. See you soon. Bye.